Tell me something you put in your mouth but you don't swallow. Wow. <laughs> walked up to somebody and saw the look on their face and you just know. When people talk about the big one, what might they be referring to? You know, I'm gonna have to go with orgasm. Watching this, <laughs> you the one bursting out in my. <laughs> your mom's watching, and your dad is what? A pastor. <laughs> but hey, my dad's a pastor. That's how we got here. Orgasm. Yeah. Orgasm. Yeah. Well, you preachers' kids. <laughs> When people talk about the big one, what might they be referring to? I'm going to say penis. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> yes. So you're her husband, and you're yes. clapping harder than anyone. Yes. <laughs> I'm securing myself. <laughs> Name something a person might put on before making whoopee. Joe. Condom. <laughs> you just firing them off today, ain't you, Joe? <laughs> just ripping them off. You bet you're real big popular down at the church after this pal. <laughs> Let's go. Got the condom on. <laughs> hey, uh, Chris, name a fish you're afraid of. A killer whale? A killer! Yeah. Killer whale! Yeah. That's all right, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it swims. It swims. Yeah, I, I know it swims, but the key word in this sentence is fish. We looking for fish, big fella. I don't want to press you about it, because... We <laughs> good, we good. I don't want you to bust me in the back of my head. Name a dance that's sexy. Well, the only thing I can think of right now is the booty pop, booty pop. Hey! What? I Damn. just told your daddy is watching. Hey. It's on the, it's behind your daddy here. is it's watching. Here. Your daddy is a pastor. It's you can't be in here with this. So good. I'm so good at all this. <laughs> Oh, the whole, oh, the preacher's daughter just said the booty pop. <laughs> no, no, you've been given some scary answers. <laughs> Her father's a pastor. Yes. yes. He's right there. Yeah, what's up, Pop? Well, Dad, here we go. Name something it might feel great to ride on in the nude. Well, I think it'd be great to ride a horse. Okay. Yeah, that'd good be answer. Awesome. That'd be answer. awesome. That'd be awesome. Right there. Ride a horse naked. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to have to try that one. I'm going to have to try that one, man. Don't try I am. Let me try it. Hey, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Married and I'm trying to get to heaven in it. And a naked woman on the horse is not good for either one. <laughs> Name something that might feel great to ride on in the nude. I'm gonna say a hand glider. <laughs> hand glider. Yes. Just in the wind, you done just jumped your naked tail off a cliff. <laughs> Greg, it's where's like your mind idea. at, man? You just on the mountain, you just running and you just. <laughs> I've been watching the Travel Channel. <laughs> hand gliding. <laughs> hey, take his winnings and make it happen. This see? is yeah. going to be really good. <laughs> Big Chris, name something that might feel great to you riding on in the news. I'm going to say a unicycle. Yeah! <laughs> Chris 
just get his neck and tail up on the unicycle. Floating in the air? <laughs> <laughs> Name something a dieter might do right before being weighed. Well, you try and spit a lot. Try to spit a lot. Yep. Good answer. Just spit a lot. <laughs> yep. That'll get the weight down. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing, Steve? Steve, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to lose weight right now, man. <laughs> How much you think you're down? Uh huh. <laughs> About a quarter of an ounce. I have a special talent I want to share with you. Is that okay? Well, yeah. Gobble, gobble. I'm a turkey gobbling champion. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Yeah, had it right away. <laughs> See, it sound, when I say it, it sounds like everybody get the hell out of here. <laughs> Name a discreet spot to put a tattoo. On your penis. <laughs> Definitely discreet. Ooh. Ooh. I don't even like it when the doctor holds me and says cough. I'm gonna give it to a guy that drinks beer with long hair and a ponytail <laughs> with a needle in his hand. <laughs> He's a sketch. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. No, I haven't. I, I know you haven't, but if you did, though, okay. what would the tattoo be? I'm just curious as to what you would put there. A, a fly on the tip. A, a, <laughs> Penis. <laughs> She's the champ, you know. She's the champ. This isn't just any turkey goblin. This is championship god. One more titty. <laughs> uh, uh, Thanksgiving, huh? You think of Thanksgiving, right? I think of it. Okay, I've been working on it. Okay, show it to me one more time. I ain't gonna be able to get that right there. <laughs> hey, how about a turkey that's, uh... See, my turkey Wounded? Has, yeah. Wounded and being chased. Oh. <laughs> what do you do, Jim? I am a unemployed fitness instructor. <laughs> <laughs> no. Really, I'm a retired construction worker. <laughs> Jim, you know the crazy part? I wasn't ready for that, right? So I'm sitting here and he says, I'm a retired fitness instructor. And I went, oh. oh yeah, okay. I'm a worker. Man, I went, boy, that layoff must have jumped off a long time ago, man. <laughs> Curtis, Curtis, Curtis. How you doing, man? I'm doing wonderful, wonderful. I wanted to compliment you on your dress. Thank you, and sir. And I wanted to let you know that the, the mark of a well-dressed man is the ability to tie his own bow tie. Yes. And I have one for you. Ooh, there you go. Well, <laughs> I don't understand. That looks nice. Yeah. It looks nice. Uh-oh. I like I nothing. Do it. I could do it. Let me see. It'd be a little hard, but I can do see. it. I need my mirror. Uh -uh. 
all eyes on now, you. Now, you can't say, uh-uh. I said, you don't all eyes on you. Tie. I don't, but all eyes yeah, on you. Yeah, but see, I can't tie it without a mirror, though. I'm I gotta have a mirror. You're doing good. I tie any kind of tie. To who are you? Who am I? You just, you know, you ain't even supposed to be in here. I am the tourist. This between me and Curtis. But and I Curtis is the to the bossy woman down here. But I'm here. the baby cousin. You the baby the cousin. The baby cousin. Well, see, you gonna have to learn. <laughs> oh, he done put his hand up in my face. No, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. He done put his hand up. That, but I, I, do, I do want to cook well, it. Yes, I, I had to jump back with you. <laughs> you got the back. That's right, we stand so, strong as a family. Crazy. She's going to be single forever. Oh! oh you did not! You are crazy. See, you're a very beautiful girl. <laughs> you're very attractive. Pretty smile and all like this. I got the number one answer, too. And you got the number one answer. Mm -hmm. And talk all the time. I do. So I don't know. I don't know when you think the man going to ask you to marry him, but you're going to have to be quiet so he can get it out. <laughs> A lot of women ain't married today because the dude ain't had a chance to get it in. <laughs> Man, you married her yet? I wanted to, but hell, she won't stop talking. <laughs> that Name something you like soft but firm. <laughs> Sheila. The P word. The P word. You know, Miss Sheila, I, I gotta ask you, cause you know. I'm a little Christian girl. <laughs> well, not if you saying the word I think you saying. What do you think I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna let you say it though. All of America's waiting on you. Go ahead, anytime you're ready, baby. Would it be a peanuts? <laughs> Well, Miss Sheila, that was the question. Oh. Name something you like soft but firm. That's the first thing popped out your mouth, so let's just go see if it's up there. It's the pre-word. <laughs> Name something made for your dog that you'd like to use for your spouse. A dog dish. Ladies, I can, I, can I ask you ladies a question? <laughs> Why is there such anger attached <laughs> to your answers? A dog bed, a bone, a dog dish, the dog house. Y'all ain't real. Well, just so you know, we have been married to a total of 148 years, all of us, so we know all these answers. <laughs> Pretty good there. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, we only got one answer left, and Here you just go. said dog dash. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Same <laughs> anger. Same <laughs> anger. Dog dash. Dog dash. <laughs> Name something a woman buys to take the place of not having a man in her life. <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> the vibrator. Miss Sheila? Yes, Steve? You know, the last game, <laughs> we started this game off the exact same. I way. know, that's why I hung and, my head. And then your answer, the last show was the P word. Yes. And now this show, what's your answer? The vibrator. <laughs> You've been married how long? It'll be 38 years in December. Well, congratulations. Thank you. 
but the secret is out. <laughs> a vibrator. <laughs> give me Tory, give me Marshall, let's go. <laughs> this is the jazziest grandmama in the whole country. Hey, uh, ladies, point values are triple here. We've got the top four answers on the board. Name a reason grandma might take out her false teeth. To, um, to <laughs> shake somebody's hand. <laughs> to, shake, to, shake, to shake someone's hand. That's a good answer. Good answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah, yeah, that's good. Shake somebody. <laughs> Grandma, take them out, shake somebody. <laughs> the front door. Joni. I got it. <laughs> you got it, Joni? Mama's bringing it home. Okay, well, let me set it up for you, because Mama's bringing it home. <laughs> well, we're going to find out. You got two strikes. Name a reason Grandma yep. might take out her false teeth. To clean them. Fanny! Clean them! Yes, yes, yes! Woo! Yes, sir! The greatest! Yes, the number one! That makes a lot of common sense to me. Clean them! For the win, to clean them! Shannon, how are you? Doing good. Good. What do you do for a living, darling? I am in grad school to be a chiropractor, just like my dad. And I like ballroom dancing. I was talking to my wife about that. You should, you should consider it. It's full contact. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm more of a slow dip and grind type guy. <laughs> so I met my wife, I was slow dancing with her. Oh. Yeah, I was on it. <laughs> okay, how do you do it? C you just stand Come, in come box. around here. <laughs> All right. Show me how, show how you do the look. You got Nashville boots on. <laughs> okay, how would it? Yeah, how would I do it, my wife? We're going to do the salsa. Yep. And together. Together. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's good to me. Yeah. That's not to the beat. That's OK. That's OK. Very good. I'm telling you. Dancing with the stars, baby. Oh. Man, that was good. Yeah. My wife's gonna be doing that tonight. <laughs> we'll be naked, though. All right. <laughs> Shannon's a ballroom dancer, gonna be a big time teacher one day. Ah, uh, she was very yeah. good at it. And I'm gonna be on Dancing with the Stars. Perfect. And well, I'm I gonna win that. it as soon as I figure out what they pay. <laughs> well, you got your looks, so what do you need money for? No, no, that's exactly who I need money. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't fooling me, lady. I got a mirror. <laughs> I need all the money I can get. Ain't like I'm Denzel Washington or nobody. <laughs> Terrell. Terrell. How you doing, man? Good, man. How what you do doing? What do you do for living? You're all the twins. Twins. Yes, sir. I yeah. have twins. I recognize that. Right. Oh, yeah. But, of course, we already know that's the better. No, that, hey. that was the wrong. Uh, that was the wrong. He, he fired that. No, he, he, got, it. he got it right. He got I know. It. I know. He did. <laughs> so, who's the oldest? I am. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Wow. Can't you tell? He looks older. <laughs> <laughs> he looks older. Yeah. Come on, now. Twins. <laughs> Girl, come on, man. We look just alike. <laughs> Terrell, what do you do? I own an auto repair shop in Charleston oh, and also good, a charter bus company. Daryl, how you doing, man? I'm what good. do you do, man? I work for a major insurance company. I work auto claims. OK, good. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Auto claims, auto repair. Well, you know. <laughs> 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 I see you. <laughs> Woo! He right, he right there. Gotta look yeah. to me. I gotta look yeah. up. Yeah. Bet you busy. Busy. <laughs> 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 Liz, how you doing? Hi, I'm great. Okay, straight the diamond fan. up right there. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. I have a good husband. I know. <laughs> I, I like the bald man. You like the bald man? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! 
<laughs> yeah, the people always tell me, why'd you cut your hair? Because my wife asked me to. And we, when it's bald, they, they do things with it. <laughs> Don't look down now, Liz. <laughs> you know it's true. <laughs> KB, how you doing? Good, man? how are you? Good, good. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a colon and rectal surgeon. <laughs> rectal? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just the guy I've been wanting to talk to. <laughs> this, uh, prostate exam. <laughs> you know, with all of the technology that's available to yeah. man today, why? <laughs> why has no one come up with a simple way that you don't have to lower a man's dignity. You in here won't talk to you, won't make it pleasant, you won't put a glove on. And you're gonna say stupid stuff. <laughs> you, it's, it's, I hate it because you know, lay on your side, pull your knees up to your chest, smile. <laughs> I'm not smiling. <laughs> I hate that. I wanna take this finger right here. <laughs> I wanna push it in your eye right now, JD. <laughs> Can I make a recommendation? You have a recommendation. I have a recommendation. I am listening. Find a surgeon with small hands. <laughs> I can't take it no more. This guy is killing me. Name something a person might do while being kissed. Stick their tongue out. Hey, JB, did you just demonstrate it? <laughs> Do it again, JB. <laughs> you a nasty doctor, you. <laughs> Stick your tongue out. What would you do if you received an obscene phone call from a woman? What would I do or what would 100 men do? Hey, my man. <laughs> Masturbate. From a woman. Man from a woman, right? Not me. A hundred men. You're asking me, right? And not, not me, Steve. No. It's gotta be number three. No? Hold on one second. I gotta go get something. <laughs> Expected that one from me. <laughs> yeah, Dave, you said that. Dave had said that. I went, yeah, Eugene, I, I was surprised. 100 men. 100 men. No, no, no. <laughs> no, you're not dumping this on 100 men. You said 100 men are me. <laughs> right after me, you said masturbate. I'm just assuming, because it, it, nobody in here was thinking that but you. <laughs> Watch your meat. Oh. I thought for sure. Oh, and to make it even worse, you can't believe it's not up there. <laughs> Did you see his reaction? Oh, God. Well, Gene, you ask 100 women <laughs> to fill in the blank. I judge a man by the size of his what? His package. It goes with the other one. Eugene, I think you're coming into your own right now. <laughs> I think you're discovering who you really are, and I think it's coming out on national TV. Come on, package. The package! Yeah! I'm gonna go with hands. I judge a man by the size of his hands. Yeah. Hold your hands up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Name something of your husband's you'd love to throw out. Old underwear. Old underwear. 
<laughs> Name something you feel self-conscious about doing alone. Liz. <laughs> Masturbating? <laughs> My sister. Oh, I gotta tell, I gotta tell you, Chang family. <laughs> oh. <laughs> family full of doctors. Y'all at the house? <laughs> Y'all at the house just tripping? <laughs> Never heard such a thing on a more consistent basis in such a nice-looking family. This is ridiculous. And Liz, you're gonna stop acting like the little gentle housewife, <laughs> and you're gonna be the wild hot mama that you really are. <laughs> Take the glasses, throw them off, <laughs> shed yourself, be free. Let them know it's about me. Get naked on top of the refrigerator. <laughs> Masturbation. Julie, name something you need if you want to be a good kisser. I'm going to say you need to be attractive. You need to be... Yeah. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa. I got to tell you, though, I don't think that's necessarily true. One time, I was having a bad week, and I met an ugly woman, and good <laughs> Lord Almighty, this woman could kiss. And if you shut your eyes... Yeah. <laughs> You need to be attractive. <laughs> hey, Ryan, tell me something Sir. you got a secret stash of. I'm gonna say, uh, not that I have any, but maybe nudie magazines. Nudie <laughs> magazines, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Julie, let me ask you something. <laughs> you know, I know this is a game and everything, but when your husband gives an answer like that, does it kind of throw a little light bulb up? Little a little bit, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, see, Ryan, here's the time where really your marriage is more important than this game. <laughs> and sometimes you just got to take an X. I had to preface it, though. I preface <laughs> it. Yes. See, what you do is just, ah, you don't know nothing about that. You, you ain't got no stash or nothing. Save your marriage, man. You ever here trying to win this damn game and lose that pretty little thing down there? How about liquor? Liquor. Yeah. All right, now, a little alcoholic. <laughs> Ryan? Right, thank you. <laughs> Turnabout's only fair play. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just found out that she might be hiding some liquor at the house. <laughs> gotta throw you off a little bit. Put them together, we got a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Such a guy. I love that. Guys just put it together. Hey, no problem. You got liquor? Hey, I got porn? Hey. Party. Rihanna, how you doing? Good, how are you doing, Steve? Good, good, good. Okay. What's, what, what, what do you do for a living? You just lost... I was just shaking your hand. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, it's okay, though. I understand, because I've had several people do me like that. I, yeah. I don't want to be one of those people. Oh, no, no. I just okay. walk okay. off. Okay. I just say, okay, no problem right here. Hope you lose. You know, that's, Steve. I, yeah, but... well, uh, So I'm just a guy, you know, so... I'm, uh, You're not just a guy. You're Steve Harvey. You're a big deal. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> During a medical exam, name something you'd hate to find out the doctor had also used on the patient before you. Steve, I'm gonna have to say a Johnny. Yeah! yeah. What's a Johnny? Yeah, you I like the robe know. they give you? I, you so, the robe so, that they give you when you... you, know, you oh, the robe change. that they give you. That's called a Johnny? It's called a Johnny. A Johnny. I didn't know no, that, it's nice yeah. and open in the back. Yeah, there you, there you go. Woo! Yeah. Exactly, Steve. You know what I always do to mess them up when I go? I put it on front way. Yeah. yeah. Tied right there. You just, I'll be standing there. <laughs> Come in. It'd be open. I'll be standing there. I'll, I'll mess them up, Jack. I just I put it on and just open it a little bit. What's happening? How you doing? <laughs> How you doing today? <laughs> so John, Johnny a little small. <laughs> Yeah, this, this, your Johnny a little small. My... <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, it's Megan. It's Megan. Megan. No. Just put a little southern drawl to it. Megan. Megan. What's up? Megan rhymes with bacon. That's what I do. I just say it like that, and then you can just take it to the bank. <laughs> like, I'm from the country myself. <laughs> West, West Virginia, to be exact. Daddy was a coal miner. It's all right. What your daddy used to do? <laughs> My daddy works for a trucking company. Works for a trucking company? Uh -huh. Same thing. Probably was, haul <laughs> probably was hauling the coal. My daddy was digging out the ground. <laughs> He's passed on to the great beyond right now. How old's your daddy? 50. Your daddy's 50? Yes. Why am I talking to you? I'm I don't a, know. I'm old enough to be your damn daddy myself. <laughs> You're just a little child. How old are you, 21? I'm 27. 27? No, I'm not. I'm 26. Well, just you, you're lying to me then. What are you hitting me for? You don't want to tell the lie. Andrew, how you doing, man? Hey, I like that tie. That's, that's, that's yours. That's a Steve Harvey tie? That's right. Yeah. I knew I loved this guy for a reason. <laughs> I said I like this tie. You can fix it right there, man. I love you, I man. I kind of like yours. You like this one right here? Yeah. Oh, no. Let's stay away from this <laughs> one, buddy. I collect ties. Yeah, you oh, collect yeah. ties? Yes. Wow, how many ties you got? So about 50. 50 ties? Yeah. Wow. That's a nice It's an collection. expensive one, too, Steve. It's an expensive <laughs> That's the white. <laughs> oh, this is the white. <laughs> oh, wow. The ties are expensive. Oh, yeah. Oh, so I'm now, let's talk to you then. Yeah. You're an attorney, you're having problems. Your husband's just buying those expensive Steve Harvey oh. ties, and I already know <laughs> what that tie costs down there. And you gotta be kidding. I bet you've got 50 pair of shoes. Uh, there we go. Hello. Snap, there we snap. Go. <laughs> let's talk about those. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about what we're talking about. <laughs> you understand? Know that's right. Yeah, I shut that down right. for you, Andrew. What a man. Talking about your tie. That's right. She mad at you. Cause you got 50 ties. That's right. You ain't said nothing right. about them shoes. None. Nor can you? None. <laughs> I would not dare. You wouldn't that. open your mouth. You no. love those shoes, don't you? Oh, I love them. Yes. I love them. I'm married to them. Yes. <laughs> hey, Carmel. I see. What do you do, darling? I'm in healthcare sales. Healthcare sales. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> All right. I'm excited to see you. Oh, well, right. 10 years ago, this could have went somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay, baby. I mean, Carmel. Uh, <laughs> hey, Amanda, name something a man might be holding when he's in the bathroom. His penis. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. You know, it's true, Steve. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm not in the survey. <laughs> oh boy, she just stops that right away. <laughs> Don't come over here looking at me, mister. You know it's true. <laughs> when last time you went in there, what'd you do? <laughs> you ain't in there handling the who is. <laughs> um, I guess it was me. <laughs> Megan, tell me something you put in your mouth, but you don't swallow. Wow. <laughs> you ever walked up to somebody and saw the look on their face and you just know? I walked up to her and I went, whoa. I mean, man. You talk about the cat that ate the canary look. Megan, I'm gonna ask you this question. I, I want you to think about the show and all the years it's aired. And how many families have enjoyed this wonderful form of Christian entertainment? So find a way to give me your answer and keep it where we can all be working when you're done. Well, I'm a pastor's wife, but um, I will say this out loud, they're sperm. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's up there, Steve. Everyone knew it. It's up there. We're going for the money. 
going for the money, so that makes it all right. It doesn't matter that I'm a pastor's wife. Ticket to hell is worth $20,000. You know, it's up there, Steve. No, I don't know a damn thing is up there. What you ain't gonna do is drag me into your little nasty world. I don't know nothing is up there. Oh, Steve, you know it's up there. Oh, the hell, I know it's up there. I have kids. <laughs> now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't up there, yeah. Now, it ain't up there, yeah. Hey, hey, it ain't up there, yes. Yes, we can all still probably go to heaven. All right. Hey, 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 uh-huh, uh, uh-huh. And what you get for saying it? <laughs> you gonna stay on the air. Family feud, 20 more years. Eric, let's go, man. We talked to 100 men. Name something you put on to be sexy. Leather pants. Boy, you ain't cleaning them carpets. You're something else, ain't you? Man, all right, ready? Let's go. It's hot outside. Let's go. I know it's hot outside, but doggone it. Give me them hot, wet, sticky, tight, leather pants. Hi, Stacy. How Steve. you doing? I'm good. Good. What do you do, ma'am? I'm a full-time grandmother slash nanny, and I also take care of my husband's goat farm. Huh? <laughs> Where do you live? In with Nashville. Them, with them in Nashville. With oh. Michelle and Jason. Oh, you, whoa. Okay, you live with Michelle yeah, and Jason? Yeah, I'm there like nanny slash mother-in-law. In the same house? You yeah. saying that? <laughs> yep. Oh, this is your mother? My mother. Yep. Hey, <laughs> That's all right. Come on, come on, dog. That's all right, man. Come on, dog. That's all right, man. Yeah. God, dog, man. I... Ooh, this is ugly, man. He's... How long? How long this been going on, Michelle? Like three, three, almost four years. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sorry. This is allergic reaction. We I get had, along man. great. You get along great. Who? Let me tell you something about poor Jason. A man in his own house. Let me tell you what he wants to do. He wants to just walk around in his drawers sometimes. <laughs> he no want to go to the refrigerator. Him. Nobody's stopping him. Your mama is in the house, yeah. and you got six damn goats walking around. Yeah. And here you are walking around in your shorts with the goats. Uh -huh. This man wants to get up in the middle of the night, go to his refrigerator, That's and right. open it up and just stand there with his drawers on That's and right. drink water out of a jar mm -hmm. that's just his. That's right, Steve. That's what your husband wants to do. Daryl? Yes, sir. Pretty much anything you say, gonna start an argument at the house. <laughs> we ask 100 married men. That's you, Daryl. Name one thing your wife could do that would improve her appearance. Wear sexy lingerie. My man. My man. My man. That's what we do. That's, what we do. That's the one you want to do. Yes. Yes. That's the perfect answer. That's perfect. That's nothing about her personally. That's something you want help you to desire her more. That man is a genius. <laughs> Sexy lingerie. Yes. Name part of a daily routine that newlyweds can turn into a sexy experience. Misty. Taking a shower. Taking a shower. Let's take a shower. Shower together. I wash your body, you wash mine, yeah. We're gonna say it can be sexy washing the dishes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, rub a dub dub. That right? <laughs> wash, wash, scrub, scrub. Oh, man. Al, Al. Oh, my yeah. man. Woo! My man. Right yeah. there, baby. Oh, yeah. Red. I see. It. Yeah, you like red? Uh, any color. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm driving the car. Absolutely. I'm your daddy. That's Absolutely. it. Might let my wife drive. <laughs> oh, Al, you gonna let the wife drive. <laughs> See, Al, when the wife ain't here, men like us, we say yeah. anything we want to. Well, that's true. <laughs> See, we taping right now. This gonna be on TV one day. All right. And your wife gonna hear this. Yeah? yeah. So let's go back. Let's just back up a little bit. <laughs> Rewind it. Okay, yeah, so rewind. Al, let me ask you a question, man. So the kids ain't driving the car, huh? No, I think I'd give it to my wife. Look this stuff right here, boy. <laughs> See that? That's my man. See? Yeah. See that? See, ladies, y'all think men are stupid. We really act, we ain't that dumb, man. We got good sense. Just give us a minute. Sometimes we gotta run it back through. How you doing? Just fine. How are you? Uh-uh. No, no, uh-uh. No, I got you. Uh-uh. You ain't gonna get me no more. I told you. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Try it again. Go ahead. Try it again. Try it again. Right there. 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 Name something you wouldn't want to be in the middle of if there's a fire drill. Doing the nasty. <laughs> Good answer! Good answer! Good answer! Doing the nasty. <laughs> right at this moment, what are you in the mood for? Making love. Making love. My man. Making love. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Who <laughs> oh you are trying to be decent in everything. <laughs> trying give to give a nice Christian ass. Christian ass. <laughs> uh, got a man sausage up there. Yeah. Name something a person might use to crush their nuts. A nut crusher. A nut crusher, yeah. What else? <laughs> Jeff. I'm gonna go with a knee. Huh. A knee, like, no, I might be thinking of the wrong nut. <laughs> Boy from New York representing early. <laughs> Your knee. Name something a woman does during sex that tells you she's bored. Daniel. She don't make any noises. She don't make any noise. I mean, you ain't doing your job and she ain't moaning. They're not making any noises. She answers the phone. <laughs> Good answer. That's all right. Good job, brother. Good job. All right. Yes. 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 Hello. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Just come on over anytime you want to. Okay, see you, mama. <laughs> she answers the phone. <laughs> Name something you did as a kid that your parents still don't know about. <laughs> Anthony. Uh, have sex. <laughs> look, at you, look at your brothers right there. It's... Have sex. <laughs> What are you doing? He ain't in your family. <laughs> <laughs> Name something a dumb person can do to look more intelligent. No offense, okay? Yeah. But they could wear a suit. They could. <laughs> no offense. No offense. The first time a person has ever looked at me and thought, that's why I had a suit on. <laughs> Stupid person with his dumb ignorant self with a suit on. <laughs> ah. 
We ask 100 men, name a kind of plastic surgery you'd consider if it weren't so expensive. And a clear. penis enhancement. Last show, I asked you, did you have a boyfriend? You said you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he ain't gonna understand why in the world that would be the first answer you fired <laughs> off right there. Okay, let's just go. It's okay. I know, it's okay. It's not like, you know, people don't think their answer's out, but you gotta know, you know, you can only say what's on your mind. <laughs> the big P implant! Give me Elaine, give me Derek, let's go. <laughs> How old are you, Derek? I'm 28. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Do you believe in magic? <laughs> you got to, you got to say yes. Yes, I do, Steve. That's what I yes. thought, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> Said, name a type of nut people serve at parties. You said, cashew. We need 41 points. Survey said, Hello, Steve. How are you doing? You're such a nice little girl. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 19. No confusion. <laughs> yes. I got a son just turned 20 today. <laughs> you trying to pimp me out? Hey, hey, hey. I'm trying to what? Pimp me out. I was thinking about maybe the two of you <laughs> meeting somewhere, but let's just shut this down. <laughs> What you ain't fitting to do is if it don't work out. Steve Harvey pimped me out. <laughs> Name something you'd be surprised to find you still have to do every day in heaven. Going to go with walk, Steve. Walk. 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 This is the first bad answer you done gave. You know you've been to church, and you have heard old people sing the song. Yes, Steve. I'm just gonna walk around <laughs> heaven all day. Uh -oh. I'm just gonna walk. I'm gonna walk around heaven all day. I'm just gonna walk. Walk around that city, <laughs> that city of gold. <laughs> Walk! Marlise? Yes. How you doing? I'm great, how are you? What do you do, darling? I'm a high school Spanish teacher. <laughs> Caliente. Oh! Huh? Yes, I know what that means. Yeah. yeah, but you don't know how I meant it, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm grown man. <laughs> I don't know but one word, that's it. It's just depending on how you say it. Oh. What's the worst question to ask a girl on a first date? Do you have any kids? How would you do it, Stan? Just let me ask Something you. like this. By the way, do you have any kids? <laughs> oh! <laughs> you! <laughs> How dare you! If you live to be 100, name something you hope is still there with you. I, I'm definitely speaking for myself. My dog, Molly. <laughs> or Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dog's gonna be 700 years old. <laughs> <laughs>
but she watches this show, so. Well, you know, I, Molly, I gotta give her a shout and, out. I gotta tell you something. Molly needs to just go head on, okay? Because <laughs> a 107 year old dog. What'd you say, girl? <laughs> <laughs> How did you know that? <laughs> Name something that makes a man sleep like a baby. Melissa. Liquor. <laughs> Liquor. <laughs> Shay. Um, sex. All right now, Shay. <laughs> rock and rock, baby. <laughs> In the treetop. When the wind blows. <laughs> Little shape starts to rock when the bow breaks. Yeah, down will come cradle. Big sexy Shay is up there rocking you in the cradle. Oh my goodness. All yeah, right. Creative. Some sex. <laughs> Name something David Hasselhoff has done that makes people cringe. Brandon. Uh, see Pamela Anderson nude. <laughs> All right, let's go see. I don't know where that came from. Gonna makes us cringe when he, every time he sees Pamela Anderson nude. <laughs> Brianna. You don't even know who the hell he is. Please give us another one. <laughs> she said, please give us another one. Uh-uh. Oh, no, we got to go here, Donna. He's drank too much and made a fool of himself. He's drank too Let much and made it. a fool of himself. Y'all gonna pass a play. We are going to pass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lawrence, how you doing, How's man? How's everything, Uncle Steve? What do you do for a living, buddy? Well, I'm a, a massage therapy student at the Anthem Institute in Jersey yes. City. You yes. gonna be a massage <laughs> therapist? Yes. 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 Really. That's the move you came up with, huh? <laughs> you single, ain't you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Anywhere in the world, your wife gonna let you go down here <laughs> and do this. This is a single dude. What would I really like to do? <laughs> I'm with you, though. We all know that love can lead to marriage. What does marriage lead to? Divorce. Man. Good answer. Divorce. Where are you folks from? We're from Appleton, Wisconsin. Appleton, Wisconsin. And Bob, what do you do for you? I'm an autism therapist. Okay, that's yes. nice. Yes. And now, can I say hi to my two boys that I work with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Alec. Hi, Chris. I made it! <laughs> Bob, let me ask you something. You've been waiting all these years I, to get here. Yes. I, the magic moment is here. Yes. Give me a word used to describe a T-bone steak that a woman might also use to describe a man. Juicy. Ooh, Miss Bob. Miss Bob, you go to church? Yes. Ooh. I'll probably have to go more now, yeah. right? Miss <laughs> <laughs> Bob looking for that old juicy man. <laughs> Name something a man might not want the woman he's hitting on to know he's wearing. Charles. A thong. A thong. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Pop, you just, Pop, you just went for it, huh? Just went for it. Thong. Thong. Threw it out there. Threw it thong. out there. Don't want him to know you got it on. I ain't got it just on. Just got the strain. <laughs> then right up the middle, right there. Mm. Looking for a thong. 
We talk to 100 single women, and boy, you like girls, don't you? I do, of course. <laughs> you shut your eyes when you say it. No, no, it's just because yeah. I was going I know, back. I, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> don't even worry about that. You like girls? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Name something you'd be surprised a man brought with him on a date. No clothes. <laughs> Number one. Obviously, you ain't been in the dating game in a long time. So you don't know what a guy bring out here. Secondly, you just thought if a guy would be pretty shocking, he's just sitting up there naked. <laughs> Ding dong. They in the window, they see him. He's standing there just naked. Jimmy. Hey. Came, set up naked, no clothes. <laughs> Name the biggest complaint that women have about the way men kiss. Mr. Mm -hmm. 20 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say too much tongue. <laughs> That's a good answer, James. Now, let's just talk about how you know that. <laughs> I mean, I... That, that ever happened uh, to you? Somebody said. I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> Not That's a go cool. speak. That's cool. You can say that to your mommy and your daddy, but I'm the game show host. I don't, <laughs> we don't have a fifth in here. <laughs> Too much time. Oh! Name the biggest complaint women have about the way men kiss. Too much mustache in the way. Too much. Too much mustache. <laughs> it's okay. Name a part of the body that muscle men love to show you. Their butt. All right, now. <laughs> Big Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy just at the house. <laughs> 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 Jimmy, you at the house just... <laughs> no! I know that's what you're doing. Plus, you're a fireman, been going up them ladders and stuff. Boy, you got a nice set of ham back there. <laughs> Your butt! <laughs> Tell me a way you try to make it up to your wife when you mess up. How about give her a nice massage? Jimmy. What's up? That's what you try to do? Oh, yes. Yeah. She likes it. But see, it can't be nothing that's for you. <laughs> Take the stupid look <laughs> off your face, because you know I'm right. I try to give her a massage, and I'm just standing there. I'm there. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Why are your eyes in the back of your head? Boy, men, man, we the worst. Give her a massage. <laughs> Name a command you give a dog that you might give your lover in bed. Okay, um, my church is gonna hate me for this, but eat. I'm talking about the dog. I can tell you right now, that ain't your church no more. <laughs> Mom. Hail to the queen. You're right. You got it. Hey, see. Hey, how you doing? Baby, I am so fine. I see. You. I'm off the market now, but if I was, I'd be at your house Sunday. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> yeah, no, I meant, I meant, I meant, I meant. Eat, I meant. Okay. <laughs> I was talking about for Sunday dinner. I promise you, I was not thinking. I was thinking of Sunday dinner. All right. That's I'm what the a mama. Last of the Creole no, mama, I All was right. talking about eating dinner. You know, Sunday you go over to country people's house Sunday for dinner. When I said that, then y'all a nasty audience up in here. Oh! Uh, y'all trifling, man. Name something you should do if you're arrested. Ashley. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Oh, okay, did the police officer go away? I'm sorry, I just oh, can't okay. rest. Okay, that's all. 
Close your eyes. I was not understanding that at all. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> Sir, step out of the car, please. How you doing today, Alexa? I'm great. I'm happily married. <laughs> I understand. Great. <laughs> she owns one half of everything I have. It is cheaper to keep her. <laughs> Lexus, how you doing? I'm great. Great, good. <laughs> well, name something an ugly man can do to make himself better looking. An ugly man can make a lot of money. Oh! oh. Good answer, Lexus. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> ugly man make a lot of money. Yeah! That'll do it. Watch this. Am I cute to you? <laughs> of course you are, Steve. I thought, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Back then, they didn't want me. <laughs> now I'm <laughs> hot, they <laughs> all on me. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm gonna be in so much trouble with this ass, man. <laughs> Name something you might have to stand up to do if you had him, Royce. Cook food. You'd have to stand up to cook. Okay. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. This is not our area of interest. It's not our area. Who the hell it's you know? It's better than the club. Scoots a chair up to fry some chicken. Some people by themselves. <laughs> man, man, I can't, I can't see nothing. God, this grease it up. Name a reason you might not like the pair of underwear your wife bought you. Well, I don't know if it's the same, but I'd say style. You know, there maybe you don't like boxes or tidy whities Tidy whities boxers, it's just not your style. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what you wear, but you might not, you might not like tidy whities You might not like boxers. What do you like? Is that too personal? I like, I like, I like bicycle drawers. <laughs> Okay. Because they don't get jammed in you ever. <laughs> they sound comfortable. They're very comfortable. Okay. I didn't want to bring that up, but you all had a lot of pressure on me. <laughs> See, I'm a counselor. I bring these things out. I know, out I know, I know, I know, because all your answers is long. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Do you remember what I said? Mm -mm, no, I, I, don't, I don't. No, hell no, because it was so long ago. <laughs> this ain't a regular game. We're going up for. I don't. What am I? Tidy whities Tidy whities <laughs> And number two. Bye. That's why, see, that Miss Merlin. Miss Merlin, see, that's why I buy bicycle drawers. Because they come down to right here, you can get them nine inch and six inch. I have to get the nine. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, Dave? I'm wonderful. How are well, you? Congratulations. Thank you. This your first one? It is our first. Wow. It's a boy. Wow. It's a boy. <laughs> How many months are you? I am six months now. Six. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna be sleeping no more. <laughs> now you tired because you didn't sleep the night before. Now you trying to rock this baby to sleep. How you doing, Steve? He can do it though. He can do it. Because I got seven kids. <laughs> seven. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you a little secret, man. A lot of people ain't gonna like this, but this is how you get a baby to go to sleep. Your wife ain't gonna appreciate it, but this is what I used to do to my twins. Cause I used to try to get them on the same schedule. Take your baby and hold your baby up and gently, very gently, just blow in their eyes. Just very gently. Not hard, just a, just a cool breeze. And I'm telling you, they do like this. <laughs> And then it's just too much for them after a while, and they just go, man, hell. I'm telling you. Dorico? Yes, sir. What do you do for a living, man? I work for a branch of the Department of Homeland Security, sir. Oh, okay. All right. So you just, you got anything to do with us taking our clothes off at the airport? Yes, sir. <laughs> you ain't the guy with the gloves on. Yes, sir. Blue ones. You get the first time that happened to me. <laughs> and that dude starts snapping on them gloves. Yes, you sir. know, I'm over 40, so 
Yeah. Usually when a man slaps on gloves around me, I'm thinking something else about to happen. <laughs> you all don't get this joke. I, because so. I do, I get it, I get it. These little young cats here just look at me. <laughs> Well, see, when you're 40, you have to get a prostate exam. You don't even know where your prostate is, do you? <laughs> you're gonna find out, though. And let me tell you something, fellas. When they tell you where your prostate is, you ain't gonna like it. And then it's a man, big old man, about that size right there. He gonna go looking for it. He gonna have a glove on. His hand gonna look like a catcher's mitt. Hey, you know what he gonna do? He gonna put his hand in there looking for your little prostate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dorico. When a wife is mad at her husband, what does she make him do by himself? I'm gonna say have sex. <laughs> Yes, sir. You're on your own. You're on your own. So, let me ask you something. Yes, sir. How would she say that to you? Just give me an example. I guess you'll say, uh, well, you already know what it is. You're on your own. That's it. Just go on and get started. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. It's a leisure time. <laughs> At your leisure. At your leisure. <laughs> you take your time. You take your time, because show don't take it with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good ass. Good ass. Have a sex. Good yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> My little front row fellas, they went with that one. <laughs> Might not know where your prostate at. <laughs> Bet you know what the pickle is, though. <laughs> Name something you wish was a little bigger. Oh, man, oh, man. This, I don't have this problem, Steve, but no, I'm gonna say... No, 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 no. See, what you're not gonna do <laughs> is give us the speech before you give this answer right here. Corey, name something you wish was a little bigger. Penis. <laughs> well, let's, let's bring the pregnant wife in here. <laughs> Stacy, when he said that, <laughs> did your knees buckle a little bit? <laughs> Only because I don't know why he said that. Good answer! Good answer! Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Big boy! Big boy! Girl, get your swag on. Hey, hey, yeah. yeah. Hey, Corey, boy, she saved you. She saved me. Corey wants his little um, tallywagger to be a little bit more tally on it. <laughs> My meat. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, Steve. How are you? What do you do? I teach first grade, and I have a sweet baby 18-month-old girl, Ava Grace. Yay, Ava Grace! Woo! Yeah. You talk like that all the time? <laughs> Most of the time. All the time. I bet the kids is entertained. <laughs> okay, this is what I want you to come in. I want you to imagine that you're coming into the class, and I want you to come in and say, as exciting as you can to make it sound good, kids, Today, we're working on colors and shapes, and it's gonna be a blast. Do it any way you want to. How would you do it? Good morning! Today, we're working on colors and shapes, and it's gonna be a great day in first grade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Tam, name something that would be almost impossible to do without a tongue. 
trying to visualize how you would lick without a tongue. I got it on this thing. I'm trying to visualize how you will lick without your tongue. I I, 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 whatever. <laughs> yeah. Lick. Letitia. Letitia. Good. How you doing, dog? I'm good. How are you, good, Steve? Good, good, good. What do you do? I'm a recovery specialist for the bank uh, during the day. At night, I'm a stand-up comedian. What made you start that? They've been telling me all my life I was a fool. <laughs> exactly the same thing I heard. <laughs> I even had a teacher told me in the sixth grade, Miss Blandon, sit down in the back, Stevie. You ain't gonna ever make no money acting a fool. Mm. Ta da! <laughs> Name something an angry girlfriend might do to get back at her cheating boyfriend. Now, please don't think I would ever do this. Okay. But we're gonna go with kill him. <laughs> Cheated, that's all. Yeah, you just had another yeah, chick on the side. That's all it was. <laughs> just kill it, he man. He wouldn't want the other alternative. Ladies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do you know what she said? Well, he wouldn't want the other alternative. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, hell, go on, kill me then. <laughs> kill him. <laughs> Name something bad that makes people feel good. The death of an ex. What is but it's something bad of an ex. Of somebody who cheated on you. The death of an ex. Just a reminder, your last two answers have been about killing people. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, name something that has a horn. A shopping cart. Right. They got a horn right. on right. cars right. now. The electric shopping <laughs> cart? They do. I think they do. They have horns Somebody on Somebody blew at me. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right, Monica. <laughs> Probably wasn't a shopping cart. <laughs> the, the shopping cart with, with the horn on it. <laughs> Name something that can never be long enough. I'm gonna go with a man's private parts. <laughs> it's on there. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Kendra, before I turn around. Did you understand the question? <laughs> Man's private parts. <laughs> I gotta tell you something, Kendra. Yes. That's some pretty disturbing news to a lot of men in here. <laughs> so, fellas, just know this. No matter how proud you are of yourself, <laughs> not enough. <laughs> Name something your doctor does to you that he doesn't enjoy any more than you do. Mark. Sticking his hand in your butt. Huh? What? Uh, sticking his hand in your butt like a proctology visit. <laughs> you mean finger, don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm dead right now. That's a whole nother exam if he got his whole hand in there. <laughs> Buddy? Oh, Mark's doctor puts his whole hand in Mark. Yes! Yes! Woo! Name something your doctor does to you that he doesn't enjoy any more than you do. Fondling you? <laughs> <laughs> what is y'all's family's doctor's name? <laughs> Y'all getting roughed up down well, there, children. You have to do doctor. that for your physical. Uh, the doctor's fondling you. Yeah! Give me a word that rhymes with wrinkle. Sprinkle. Yeah. Sprinkle. That's a good one. Sprinkle. <laughs> yeah. 
Look up there. Sprinkle! Oh. 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 oh, you can say it as loud as you want. Sprinkle! Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle! Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle! Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, Dave. Let's go again. Minko. <laughs> hey, hey, Matt. At, at Dimple, that wasn't that bad of an answer. Watch this. Minko. <laughs> Name a job where you lose a lot of customers if you had body on them. Stripper. Stripper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Name something you do in the mirror when no one's looking. Take medication. <laughs> 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 Give me an example of what you're talking about. <laughs> Any medication, Steve. Oh, oh, Vitamins. Vitamin <laughs> cough syrup. Yeah, cough. What you do. That's right, Steve. You, you look it? You see? I'm fine with what I do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Took that cough medicine. <laughs> Going on downstairs to the club. <laughs> Taking medication. <laughs> Talk to 100 married women. Give me a reason that your husband couldn't get hired as an exotic dancer. He doesn't look good naked? He does not <laughs> look good naked. <laughs> Bam! What, what does she mean by that? <laughs> well, it, oh. Oh, you don't know what she thinks. I'm sorry. He's not big enough. I'm not even going to look question. over at the judge. I just need you to be more specific. What do you mean? He's His not big. Parts His are private not... parts is not big enough. <laughs> yes, Steve, for an exotic dancer. <laughs> I'm playing to win. You're married, right? I am. This doesn't I know, apply I know, to me. I know. I know. I know. I ask you. <laughs> now, the question is: We have name a reason your husband <laughs> couldn't get hired as an exotic dancer. That's all. We just asked you why your husband couldn't get married. They ain't say nothing about them people all out there why they husband couldn't get married. Now, you know, I'm just putting it out there. Is he here today? No, he's not. Mm, well, when this air... <laughs> mm. <laughs> Little fella don't need to be out there. <laughs> when you were a kid, name something you used as a partner to practice kissing. <laughs> yeah. Sister. She's never going to forgive me for this, either. No, she's not. Lindsay, you're not the sister. Are you? No. <laughs> Where's your sister right now, Jill? Um, probably hiding somewhere. <laughs> Is she in the building? Or, or hunting for a weapon. <laughs> they got a new device now. It's called YouTube. <laughs> you're going to be a major star, Jill. I'm sure. His sister. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got seven other people gonna be in the same room in hell with you. 
sounds a little strange, but how about the mirror? Good answer. The mirror. Y'all was having a good time. No wonder y'all pregnant. Y'all just so good to try everything. Been all in the mirror down there with the little girl down next door. You got a baby doll in your hand. Come here, give me that animal right here. You just been in the house practicing. Woo. I bet y'all stuffed animals is laying on the bed like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to be the luckiest bear in the world. Cause you're all attractive girls. I'm sitting at y'all's house going, what a life. Hey, Steve, what are you? I'm a stuffed animal. Don't you wish you were something else? Uh-uh. They'll be home in a minute. Uh, yeah, go on, say it. I want to hear this. Orange. An, An orange. orange. <laughs> what? What y'all doing at your house? You got a pillow? You got this pro baby doll need therapy? You in the mirror? You using your hand? And that stuffed animal is waiting on y'all to put all that mess down. I'm ready. Come on, baby. Let's do it. An orange. <laughs> Name something a man might have in his pants when he's going on a hot date. And maybe he's excited to go on his date? Uh-huh. <laughs> to be more specific, don't I? Yeah, because <laughs> last I ain't never put no excitement in my past. <laughs> Go ahead, McKenzie. Boner. <laughs> huh? You really upset again? What did you say? <laughs> Boner. You <laughs> can say on TV? You can say that on TV? You can say that on TV. What are y'all clapping for? You said boner. You said I mean, you didn't ask me if you could say that. You said it, and then you said, do I have to make you say it again? I didn't make you say it in the first place. Let's get this clear. Let's get this clear. This was Little Miss Fassie's answer. Oh, this show ain't gonna make it through years. I'm gonna be off the air. When Richard Dawson did this show, I never heard stuff like this. <laughs> I don't remember any of this. Now, 2011, 2012, y'all just say what you wanna say. <laughs> now I gotta turn around. I've gotta find a Christian way <laughs> to say what you just said. <laughs> Let's just say someone is saluting the troops. <laughs> Tell y'all something. Look at the last one that just went up. A pitch tent. Don't say that when you come out the hole. Okay? Ready, break. Hey Joseph, how you doing, sir? Hey, how you doing, Steve? Good. What do you do? I'm a sales associate, and right now I'm single and ready to mingle with ladies. So. Hey Joseph, this ain't really about the game right now. Is it? <laughs> Wrong game you, you, uh, you, 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 you just really threw what you did. Uh, just out. I'm a sales associate, but, but yeah, I'm single. See. I'm ready to mingle. <laughs> so what kind of sales associate are you? Oh, I work at Club Tarjay. <laughs> Club Tarjay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Out of touch, I am. I'm sitting there going, Tarjay. That's high end retail. Club Tarjay. Yeah, just take your time, Joseph. All right, man, let's go. You got to be careful. You got two strikes. The Finch girls can steal. Name an occupation whose theme song might be She Works Hard for the Money. 
I'm going with prostitute. <laughs> a prostitute. Can't just say that. He been down there thinking of his answer for five minutes. How can I say this? A prostitute. I high fived him for at least using the right term. I turned around, the board got a hoe on. <laughs> All right, boy, family, here we go. What are y'all doing? Yeah, hey, 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 what's wrong with y'all? The whole time I've been talking with the ladies, you've been in the huddle. You can't, once we come out the huddle, we need one of these ants. Y'all just hollering. <laughs> Big Robin, we got this, we got this. Come on now, 20,000, we got to get this. All right, Derek, here we go. Here's your chance. We talked to 100 women. Name something that's more satisfying than a man. Sexual toy. Woo! Uh, sexual. Hey, Big Robin, uh, was that your answer? Uh, yeah. you, uh, say it, say it. We got to get this 20,000. <laughs> sexual toy. <laughs> Big Rob. Of all the United States presidents, which one would look hottest in the speed? I'm going to go back a little bit. I but know. But you have to put... Abraham Lincoln up there. You got to get him up there. He up there. With the beard, the hat, you got to get him up. You know, Rob, I ain't thinking that. What you say, with the beard, the hat, hey, speedo, speedo, bam. Yeah. Abraham Lincoln Who? signing that man so patient. <laughs> Just been over with a speedo. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Because he probably had one on. Ooh. Everybody don't like me signing this emancipation, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln in a speedo. <laughs> Raphael. How are you, Steve? What do you do for a living, sir? I am a salsa singing entertainer. Oh, this is going to be too good for me. <laughs> God, let me tighten up your tie before I ask you to sing. <laughs> Raphael, you're a salsa singer. Salsa singing entertainer, baby. You got that? Okay. You know? Let me tell you something. I'm gonna, give it, I'm gonna give it to you. Yes. 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 I love you. I love Listen. you too. I love you. Richard, Richard Rosa, who runs my suit collection. Okay was uh, a, a, a Cuban singer <laughs> and okay. dancer. Okay. He runs my clothing collection. So you got to do a little something for me. Just well, do something for uh, me. Let's see. I'm going to do something in English and, and clave. Give me a hand here. Clave. What they call clave. All right, now, come on. <laughs> We're having a good time playing Family Feud. I want to take home that money and take that part home, too. <laughs> family Feud. Bye, y'all. Here we You got it, babe. You. No, turn it. Steve, Steve, you got to turn. You got to turn. You got to turn. All right. I'm you, baby. I turn all day. You bad, man. I do that. I got soul. I do that. You tell me to turn, I turn. I got no problem. I'm driving like it's hot. I do all that. Give me Joe Vaughn. Give me Rebecca. Let's go. This is going to, it's going to be a long game, I can tell. Well, Javon. How's it going? Yeah, Mr. Controversial. <laughs> Thought that was pretty cute up there, it didn't you? It was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all about 20,000 up here. That's all it's about, you know? I'm not here to make friends. <laughs> now, come on with your crazy self. <laughs> What is he, your nephew? That's my, my sister's son. Your sister's son? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's your nephew. You don't even want to call him your nephew. He ain't even want to call him. That ain't my nephew. That's my sister's son. I don't even know. I told, I told him not to put him on the show. <laughs> when we were picking the five people for the show, first thing I said was, don't bring that crazy boy down here. <laughs> he don't like shaking people's hands. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, Jovan, let's go. Name something that might be referred to as juicy. I'm going to say your pockets, money. Money okay. might be in your pockets. Your pockets. Yeah. Money pockets juicy. Get all juicy pockets. <laughs> pockets money juicy. Juicy. Big old juicy pockets. Got them juicy pockets. Boy, that pocket look juicy. What's that in your pocket there? What's that juice? <laughs> juicy, juicy, juicy. Got the juicy pants. Tell me a candy bar that might describe your mate in bed. Butterfinger. <laughs> Miss Karen, I gotta ask you now. <laughs> when I asked you about a candy bar that might describe your mate in bed, why'd you say Butterfinger? Um, <laughs> we've been married 35 years. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Louise, Hello. hi, darling. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. What do you do, Louise? I work for a customer service for a company called Fantasy Entertainment. Watch out, Louise. <laughs> you already know we about to find out what that is. I don't know how you thought we were just going to blow through that. <laughs> you, Louise? <laughs> mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us <laughs> in your own words? You're gonna be disappointed. I'm gonna be disappointed. <laughs> they do photo photos in those little photo blue kiosks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey. The little photo booths that's in the mall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where y'all from again? New Hampshire. That's what y'all call fantasy entertainment. <laughs> You know what fantasy entertainment is supposed to be? You're supposed to go in that booth, close that curtain, and oh, Lord, have mercy. Why are you crying, Louise? Oh. All right. <laughs> Catherine. Hi. Hi, darling. How are you? I'm fine. Go ahead. What do you do? I work retail part-time. OK, retail part-time. Part-time, yeah, because I'm in between. Sometimes I like to go here, sometimes I like to go there. When they let me go from one job, I go to another job. We don't have one set job right now. <laughs> I do something to keep myself busy during the day. <laughs> Girl, me too. Oh, I know, I know it, I know. <laughs> You normally laugh the whole time you talking. Oh, I know. I know. You ought to got to be the happiest person. I am. She I just am. Like, I got no child. Oh, I don't I know. Know. I'm I ain't never seen be unemployment here. be that funny before. I ain't got no job. <laughs> I ain't worked in four years. <laughs> they just cut the lights off Friday. <laughs> we hungry. <laughs> Name something a person might be holding that's about 12 inches. A man's private part. <laughs> that could be a good no, Already know, already know. Every game we play, <laughs> when there's a little nasty answer, <laughs> I come right to the twins. Ain't no way in the world a boy in a huddle with his mama <laughs> and that's the answer he come up with. That answer has to come from the mama and the twin sister because the son is not gonna ever say that in front of the mama. I already know that for a fact. Which one of you said it? <laughs> I already know it was her one. You know, when you play with a family these many shows in a row, you get to kind of know the family. I came right down here. 
You ain't gonna say that to your mama. This has to be your mother's idea. A man's private parts. <laughs> Name something a female dog might think a male dog does in a sexy way. Hello. Sniffer. <laughs> I know. I know this boy. Yeah. I know that's right. I got a sniff, a sniff test. Yeah, got a sniff test. Sniff that's test. What you see. Yeah. Sniff her. How he goes to the bathroom. How he goes to the bathroom. Uh -huh. How oh, okay. it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, attractive. How you like that? <laughs> yeah. How you like me now? <laughs> yeah, you ain't think I was nothing a minute ago. <laughs> How about now? How about now, baby? Huh? How about now? Go to the bathroom. <laughs> Name something a female dog might think a male dog does in a sexy way. Humpster. Get outside! Get outside! Well, dude, that's right there. You don't know what he, he said, humpster. You want me to show you how that right, go right too? Right I'm not really showed you how he lift the bathroom. Don't make me do the hump thing. Come on, judge. Act like you know what I'm talking. You know, and and while he's showing her the bathroom move, that would it really get good. In that order, Steve. Peach, Nick, Hump. Peach, Thank you, man. That's my favorite answer. <laughs> Name a word that rhymes with winner. Jennifer. Winner. That rhyme with it, though. <laughs> Sound exactly. <laughs> Watch this here. Winner, winner. It's not up there. <laughs> Jennifer said, it's not up there, Steve. Name a reason why a man might not recognize his high school sweetheart at the 25th year reunion. She done got ugly. <laughs> she... <laughs> she done. She done got ugly. That's when you have taken ugliness to a whole nother place. More specific than done got ugly. <laughs> About shot. <laughs> Hair fell out. Whoa. Hair fell out. Fell out. Yeah. Hey, Joy, she got no strikes. She rolling. Tell me something about her man that a woman just might pretend to like. His mama. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Miss Joyce. Yes, sir. You kind of said that with a little <laughs> had a little something on that answer there. I love my mother-in-law. I love her. Yeah, I love, they, I love they, you, they, mother-in-law. That ain't the way it sounds. That ain't the way it sounds. His mama. That ain't, that, ain't, that, ain't, that ain't have love on it at all. I plead to Said something about your cooking one time, didn't you? Never. You can't be this close up on me. I know. I know. Don't worry about that girl. Don't let that bother you. You hear what she told me? She says, Steve, you can't be this close up on me. Watch yourself, John. Yeah. <laughs> Huh. Watch yourself. His mama. <laughs> Name a job that's dirty, but someone has to do it. A plumber. <laughs> Try again. Of course. Um, dirty. Gynecologist. You married, Rocco? Not yet. Couple months. You yeah, better check with her after this one. <laughs> yeah. Boy, your buddies at work when this goes on TV. Yeah. It's about the best answer I've ever heard. <laughs> You stunned the world with that one right there. Sorry. I don't Sorry. know if we're gonna have enough tape to show the whole thing, but <laughs> pretty sure they do on YouTube.
you, my man, are gonna be so famous after this. You said that. I can't even repeat it. Survey said. Tracy, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? You're oh. Ron's wife. And his mom. And his mom, <laughs> Braden. He's but I, I got confidence. He's gonna, got, he's gonna make that money in that's comic what it books. Is, comic book writing. <laughs> that's it. You're pulling for it. I'm pulling. He's so got just, passion you just, you, and But a you gift. just started buying into it, though. <laughs> you yeah. have to support him. You have to yeah, support him. Even, it, even if you're going, please, Lord. I know. I, know. <laughs> right. I tell you, my 14-year-old just came in the house telling me, Dad, finally figured out what I wanted to be. He said, I want to be on WWF wrestling. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. And what'd you say? Go in there and sit your stupid <laughs> ass down. Rethink it. No, I ain't rethinking nothing. <laughs> All right, Tracy. Eskimos rub noses. What other body part might lovers rub together to signify a kiss? This may be a kiss of another kind, but I'm gonna say they're private parts. You said you're sorry, Ron. <laughs> yeah, I like what you did, Ron. I said, well, ain't no need of me messing around. I'll tell you what, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. This might be a kiss of another kind. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you get them two private parts scraping up against one another, that's about as kissy kiss as you gonna get. Yeah, rubbing your private parts together, a la Big Ronnie Skelton style. <laughs> Name something that makes you grumpy if you don't get enough of it. It's gotta be sex. Yeah! yeah. 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 Sex! I don't really know what's wrong with me. <laughs> 54 years old, you'd think I'd know how to behave a little better than this. But... We ask 100 men, name a place on your body that a doctor might look in with a little flashlight. But. April. I'm 54 years old. I've been to the doctor so many times. But I can assure you, if that man ever <laughs> takes a flashlight and shines it, <laughs> me and that man right there, we're gonna tear that whole office up. <laughs> Survey said. I hope my doctor's watching this. <laughs> you break out a flashlight, see what happens, huh? We ask 100 men, name a place on your body that a doctor might look in with a little flashlight. But. <laughs> You married? I'm not. I'm single. Single? Yes. Yeah, really? Yeah, no kids. No kids? <laughs> wow. Wow. Hi, America. <laughs> <laughs> What's some of the qualities you look for in a guy? Honesty. All right, you can kill it. <laughs> and uh, let me ask you something. Where are you folks from? We're from Nashua, New Hampshire. Nashua. Yeah. New Hampshire. What do you do for a living, Ann? I'm a dentist. You're a dentist? Yes, sir. Because she learned from her father. Uh -oh. Well, now. <laughs> My man, let me yeah. tell you that. And let me tell you something. You must be one of the greatest dentists of all time. 
Emil, with that jacket on and that tie, come out here, Emil. I gotta get this. <laughs> Emil. Yes, sir. You are my goal. <laughs> I wanna be 80, clear mind, sharp dresser. I wanna be cussing everything. <laughs> but you said, you know, you got rid of all this flashy colors because you wanna be more professional. Now. Yeah, I did say that. But but in my case, I wanna be younger even though I'm older. Yes! <laughs> So guess what I'm gonna do? As I get older, I'm bringing back all my pimp clothes. <laughs> hey, Corey, name something a husband starts doing differently. It makes his wife suspect he's cheating. He's differently in bed, Steve. Wow. He's different in bed. Different in bed. And all of a sudden, he got one leg up. You never saw that before. Right, exactly. So why is his leg up like that? <laughs> Yeah. Where do you learn that? I, I, about I didn't teach him that. I'm just, you, you didn't teach him that. Well, you gotta, gotta get it from somewhere. Let's go. As a last request, name something a stripper might want to be buried wearing. Corey. Lingerie. Lingerie. <laughs> Emma? G-string. My man. G-string. Let's go. My boy. Yeah. My man. Hey. Gotta get that thing, baby. baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I love that. Y'all didn't look. And y'all sitting there going, what's he gonna say? The number one answer, baby. <laughs>